Right. Welcome back to the show. You're just in time for Unfiltered. Today's guests are Haitian American singers, songwriters, producers, and engineers who are two of the quickest rising stars in Compa music. Please welcome to our show, Joe and Yanni. Men of the hour, hey. Jordan, hey. welcome to the show, we're man. We here, we here. So much right. personality. <laughs> These so guys much. are a lot of fun, you guys. We got to hang out with them off camera for oh a second. Yeah. So congratulations on all your success, fellas. Thank uh, you so much. Before we get into all your musical accomplishments, tell mm -hmm. our viewers just a little bit about yourself, your background. Okay, um, so basically we're Haitian American, you know, born and raised in Haiti. Yeah. Um, we love music. We were brought up in a musical world. Okay. Well, yeah. What else can we say? Literally growing up, our instruments, my, my mm -hmm. father's instruments, his studio was our playground. So wow. we just oh, wow. wait till like he's not there and then we just go in and perform and <laughs> just chill. <laughs> So y'all snuck in and exactly. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, you and everything. Yep. And that's how we really got got our way. We found our way around playing piano and stuff. You know. Okay. That's okay. dope. Yeah. That's dope. So I'm gonna jump right in. Let's go. So you both have had successful music careers as solo mm -hmm. artists. What was the inspiration that made you guys come together to just merge this powerhouse that you guys are now together? So the thing is. As Dro was making his music, like mm -hmm. I'd be in the studio helping him with some records, whether it's pr producing or just my input. Okay. And it was the same, vice versa. If I'm in the studio, he's there, he's mm -hmm. like, yeah, I think you should put this instead or, or bring okay. this down. And so we had always been working together. And it's like, damn. Okay. You good. Yeah. <laughs> you want, wait, we're on to something. You good. <laughs> okay, yeah. So it's, it's like, I'm paying for videos and studio time. I'm paying for yeah, promo. Right. He's yeah. doing the same thing on his side. And yeah. we're like, yo. If we just team up together, then exactly. like, we're okay. gonna always stronger when together. Yeah, always. we're gonna mess it up. So that's what we did in 2019. We launched Dro X Yanni. Exactly. Love it. Tell that's the world. Dope. We're yeah. listen. We're telling the world. I now. love it. I lo but I love how you almost finish each mm. other's sentences too, so you yeah. can tell that you have uh, a <laughs> like brotherly. Like there yeah. is definitely that cord <laughs> is still there, and that's dope. So, so this last October, you guys released Love from the Motherland, your EP. Yeah. What was that creative process like making that album? Man, it was very interesting. We, we flew all the way to Nigeria, Africa. Wow. wow. So we spent two months there working with different producers, different writers, different, like, so many artists as well. It was a great experience, you know, first time in Africa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Back in the motherland. Yeah. Back, yeah. Mother. Yeah. back from the roots. So exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it, it was an yeah. amazing experience. Yeah. 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 You, just, uh, you, you just want that to come out, but I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good. Okay. Okay. Bounce it. <laughs> That's amazing. Wait, yeah. have, you, have you been to Jamaica? Oh, yeah. I'm going to throw that in. Okay. To, to, I'm going to go Okay. Okay. That okay. Nice. okay. That that, nice. I can feel the vibe. It's all right. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to get us started. Yeah. So, your dad had an amazing music career, well known, very successful. Do you feel the pressure to not necessarily walk in his shoe, but to keep that legacy alive? Um, I can uh, say. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so I could say that. <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So I would say not necessarily because okay. here he did what he had to do. He yeah. did, like, he... He stole my paid. answer. <laughs> <laughs> he created his own route, his own journey. Yeah. And we're just literally uh, the, the seeds of his, you know, production, right. you know? Uh -huh. So, so now we're just going our own path, exactly. creating our own, own style. Right. Our own journey own story so there's no pressure because even him he's also a part of our story hey uh, let, let him know let us, him know <laughs> helping us Come you know yeah. giving us his two cents his wisdom yeah. yeah so he's part of the journey as well so there's no pressure whatsoever it's just a, a family thing you see we, we, we yeah. communicate so <laughs> he said exactly what i was going to say he did I, I know, he got I know. it you got it you okay so he gives you feedback on your music he gives you like critiques and stuff like that that's good he's there so you guys do a little bit of everything you sing you write you produce you engineer which aspect of creating music or performing do you like the most and why me i'm not gonna lie my favorite part has to be performing Okay. But by the time like uh, you're performing the song, he's saying all my answers. Yeah. Yo, like, <laughs> wow, you can't, you can't do that, you can't bro. Do that. Bro, say something, else. say something else. Say something else. Say something else. But it's crazy because by the time you get on stage, you almost hate the song because yeah, you, that's true. You produced it, 
Yeah. You so, wrote to it. Right. You recorded yourself singing mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Right. Then you had to mix it, master it. Shoot yeah. a video where Shoot they played 1,600 times. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And then right. you get on stage to perform it. So if we could like, just skip that whole process and just go on stage right. and sing yeah. it, that would be a whole... Okay. Nicer scenario, but okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. So let me say a bit too, since we have the same answer. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the reason why I like performing is because I don't know. That's that's where I feel at home. You know, being okay. on stage, singing to the people. You know, I I just love it. And, like that's where I'm most comfortable, actually. Yeah. yeah. yeah you know, sure. and, and one crazy thing about me is that if I have to sing to like two people, I get shy. What? But if, like there's a whole crowd, it's like yeah. that's, that's yeah. where I'm comfortable. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like, I don't know. So the bigger the crowd, the, the more yeah. comfortable well, you are. As long as I'm on the stage, yeah, I don't care if, if it's just bartenders or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm like that's where I'm, I feel home. So yeah. I go all in. You know, yeah. like, in your, performing, I love it. You're love in your zone and yeah. <laughs> but zone basically, out. basically, we just reflect <laughs> off of the crowd's energy. So okay. the, yeah. the bigger the crowd, the, sure. the crazier it gets. The pool, but exactly. I'm sure, looking at you both, you get energy. So. <laughs> <laughs> Blush, blush. It's okay. <laughs> so I know that today marks a really um, monumental day for Haitians. Tell us about that and remind us of... Yeah, so um, 13 years ago, mm -hmm. um, 453, I believe, exactly, mm -hmm. um, there was a 7.0 magnitude earthquake that hit us, you know, leaving about 400,000 dead. Mm -hmm. um, we, we lost so many amazing people, you know, and yeah. it was... It happened like less than 30 seconds. I remember when, when I heard it coming, it's like I heard it like a truck coming with like no mm. brakes. I, I it was my first earthquake. I, I didn't even understand what was happening. Yeah. You know, it really marked my, I could say my childhood. So wow. it's, it's, it's a big day for us, you know, but mm -hmm. um, just sending out my prayers to all, all the families who lost, you know, their yeah. peoples and Wow. For sure. Yeah. That was a time when I feel like a lot of people came together. Yeah. 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 Uh, we had been going through a lot of difficult stuff before, but like this tragedy like just made us unite. Yeah. And and we didn't care about any other like people's differences or like mm -hmm. what what they like preferences. It was just a matter of, you know what? Right now the country is having issues. We just need to team up together and just create some some change and just help as much as you can. Yeah. So, so yeah, like Joe said, just sending our prayers and, and love and and a warmth to all the mm -hmm. people that were victims are affected by by this devastating earthquake. And then, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I love our prayers. Well, look, you guys, we have to take a short break. We'll be right back with the performance from Joe and Yanni. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 